The Mozart's Coffee Roasters Holiday Light Show is a beloved Christmas tradition in Austin. But it's also a high-tech masterpiece that's months in the making, from the planning to the choreography, and of course, all of those lights. Ken Leonard is one of the owners of Mozart's. He says after 14 years and more lights every year, it's hard to say exactly how many lights are firing off during the big show. I think the, the safest answer is a lot, and I think the most reasonable answer is we think it's somewhere north of two million individual lights are, are happening at once here. Ken's other partner, Katrine Formby, starts the design process in late January. There probably are three months of project design that go into the creative and all of the concepting of what the routines and, and what the new exhibits will be this year. Then the giant set starts going up in August, and about 100 digital controllers are secured, connected, and networked on the grid. The digital controllers uh, are, are really the, the intelligent brain of the show. As you look at this, you can see the multiple layers on the scaffold that come out to actually be able to deliver almost an infinite array of design components. All of that is fed into a dynamic computer program. There certainly is machine learning in terms of the, 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 the processing of the digital signals and making that efficient so you have no contention or no lapse or, or delay between a music signal and, an, and, a, and a light signal. Then all of the lines are directed to the command center. This is where all of the digital controllers, the LED lights, and all of this synchronization terminates in this room here. And if the first system fails, there's a backup. Obviously, it's a major letdown if the light show goes down. So we actually have complete redundancy, two complete systems. And literally, if the primary system goes down, it auto defaults to the backup system, and we don't skip a loop. And you get a beautiful digital dance. And speaking of dance. This is uh, actually uh, a significant portion of Taylor Swift's Eras Tour dance floor. Mozart's has part of Taylor Swift's concert stage on loan. The North American Tour is on hiatus, and that's, that's how we got this dance floor, because the, the company was going to have to store it. And the tech is next level. Each tile has about 1,600 digital pixels. We have a separate set of controllers that fire up uh, imagery and uh, audio uh, into this. The ability to program and to change imagery and to synchronize is just exponentially higher than, than, than last year's dance floor. Mozart's puts on about 300 shows a season and every connector is taped and sealed because when the winter weather hits, the show must go on. We do this rain or shine. So this show will happen whether it rains, it snows, it hails, you know, there, there's, you know, we've, we've never not run a show in 14 years. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.